Welcome back, everybody. This, of course, is 1814 Dready Head. I want to bring you a news article that has made its rounds on social media, and it is now being picked up by TMZ. Uh, remember, I will read a little bit of the story. However, there is a link, and within that link, there is a video, which the video is considered to be graphic. So please be warned. This is for Drake fans. All of us know who Drake is. It says a mother and daughter ran over by a speeding car after his St. Louis concert. Tragic new video shows the moment a mother and daughter leaving a Drake concert were killed by a car running a red light. And you can see just how fast this person was driving. The dramatic footage shows Letitia Bracero and her adult daughter, 21-year-old Alyssa Cordova, walking through a crosswalk on early February 14th, right after Drake's concert in St. Louis, when suddenly a car comes flying into the frame, blowing through a red light and sideswiping another car before running both of them over. It all happens in a flash and we've stopped the video to avoid showing the gruesome moment of impact, but make no mistake, the two were obliterated. Obviously, the fatal incident is absolutely horrific and worse yet happens a few blocks away from the Enterprise Center in downtown St. Louis, where the women had just left Drake's concert the second night of his two show performances in their town. The St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department says the mother died at the scene and her daughter died later at the hospital. Cops also claim the alleged driver, 22-year-old Monte Henderson, was running red lights for several blocks and speeding in a Jeep Cherokee before running over the women and injuring several other pedestrians. They ended up finding him and arresting him shortly after this occurrence. Henderson has been charged with two counts, each of armed criminal action and involuntary manslaughter. Cops say he was speeding at over 70 miles per hour. It's unclear why he might have been driving that fast, but in any case, he has reportedly since bonded out of jail. According to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, a judge overseeing the case denied a request from prosecutors to keep him locked up, with them arguing he's a danger to the community and allowed him to be freed on a $20,000 bail. He has since been released from custody. The mother and daughter apparently weren't even from St. Louis. Word is they would traveled into town from Chicago just to catch Drizzy in person. A GoFundMe to help pay for the funeral arrangements and other costs has been started in their name. And that is where the story does end. And I just want to say as someone who used to be an Advent concert goer back in the day, I was always extremely aware of my surroundings and if anything just didn't look right to me, I wouldn't make a move. But so many people before a concert, they're just so exhilarated that they're really not focused as they should be. And I'm not saying that these two were not focused because I wasn't there. I'm saying so many are not focused to the point to where they're just so exhilarated, so excited to get to that concert, to get to that destination. And then when it's over, they're not focused and paying attention when they're leaving because they're still so exhilarated and so high from seeing, seeing the person that they really wanted to see. And when you are not paying attention, when you are not focused, not saying that they weren't, but when you are not, any and everything can happen. My heart goes out to the family and the friends of these two individuals, mother and daughter, who lost their lives just going to a concert and wanting to come back home. And they never made it because the actions of one person who didn't care. This is 1814 Dreadyhead. Everything will be below. 
and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.